Okay, so welcome back to the Upload TV. Uh, this week, part of our winter series, we're in Ganton Golf Club, uh, which is not too far from the East Coast in Scarborough. Um, bit of a chilly day. Certainly, weather's took a turn at last. We've had a very mild uh, winter so far. We're mid-November, and we're at what is a real quality venue. Played here, or had the privilege of playing here early on in the year, and it was in absolutely superb condition. We're going to see how it fares in our winter series in terms of the conditions for winter golf. It's one of the, uh, I think it only shares one other golf club in the country actually where it's had the uh, Curtis Cup, Walker Cup and also the Ryder Cup. So uh, they've seen plenty of decent golf here and now they're going to have to have uh, Tioplo plough through the fairway. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Certainly looking forward to it. Fairly excited today and uh, looking forward to what should be another great 18 holes in our winter series. Right, so we're going to stop off as, uh, as early as the first hole. Because I wanted to show you these, uh, there was two mammoth bunkers that are both uh, right and left of the approach to the green. And I say mammoth, you can see from the size of them. Uh, last time we played, which I visited in, uh, in May, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I was actually in the right side bunker. It took me two or three shots to get out of that one and it uh, didn't quite make the final cut of our video, I'm afraid. I decided to scrub that one out. And uh, this time round, I've managed to find uh, the opposite side. So not great and come up a bit short. So maybe there's a bit of wind up there, but uh, it's a daunting task on your first uh, bunker shot of the day. That lip in front of me is, uh, is probably about my head height. So uh, let's see if we can, well, it's got out. I can't even see where that one's coming to a finish because uh, it's beyond my viewpoint, but we'd be happy with that. But absolute monster bunkers on the first at Ganton Golf Club. Right, so our next stop off is the uh, the back of the fourth. Well, I'm at the back of the fourth green. Um, you're filming from the front in, and obviously you can see that steep incline uh, uh, and rise up to the green to the front of it. So the idea is, or at least my idea, was to make sure that you choose a, a club that is long enough to clear that incline and make it onto the green. Problem is then with the, the pin, his cuts probably um, only front uh, centre, I suppose. Um, but from the back end, it still leaves a horrible put down the slope. And hopefully from where we set the cam camera up, you can see the undulations uh, that run through this green. Um, even though it is uh, middle of November, green's still extremely fast. I certainly wouldn't like to be uh, left with this put in the, uh, in the height of the summer. So it sets it off over the ridge. It'll start to turn round and that's just not stopping. Well, we've got another six foot back up the hill. And if that was in the summer months, it would probably another 10 or 12 foot uh, back up the hill. But hopefully you can see the kind of undulations that you're faced with at Ganton Golf Club. And the greens are absolutely superb, even for mid-November. Okay, I've got a feeling Ganton's gonna be one of those golf courses where we could literally film every hole as being a feature hole. Uh, we've stopped off at the uh, fifth now, and uh, it's only a little par three. We're playing, obviously, as we always do, as a visitor, we're playing from the yellow blocks, and it's 145 yards today. Can obviously stretch it out another, I don't know, 20 yards to the back tee off the whites. But uh, if you take a look at the green, what you'll see is that uh, it's only short, but fraught with danger. And uh, those big bunkers I referred to on the very first hole, they pretty much make an appearance on every hole at Ganton and they appear on this one on uh, both front left, uh, the side right and back right and then you can see there's some yellow hazard stakes there indicating some water so you don't want to go long and left either. So this is a case of uh, it really has to be uh, probably green or bust. I'm going to have to make these recordings very quick today. I said on the fifth hole that we're going to stop on every hole and we're on the sixth and I want to show you something again. But it literally is that on the uh, on every hole here at Ganton so far. But if you take a look behind me, uh, 438 yards, par four. And I just think it's an absolute great uh, tee position. So you've got a uh, big bunker. Well, I don't know, it's about 50 yards long on the right there. That's the first thing to avoid. There's one tucked away on the left and uh, somewhere in between all that, there's a little bit of fairway and the idea is obviously to get your ball on that but that's the hard part so uh, another great tee position on the sixth 
Okay, so if you've played Ganton Golf Club and don't go in one of these bunkers, you've either played very, very well or been extremely lucky because they're a real key feature of the golf club, a uh, golf course, and they're a real key defense of the golf course as well. They're absolutely everywhere, and some of them are absolutely mammoth. As you can see from this, again, I don't know, it's about 30, 40 yards uh, in width, right across the middle of the fairway. This one happens to be uh, short of the 11th green, um, but it could be absolutely anywhere on the course because they do pepper every fairway and every green. So you'll do well to get out of them. I can't even see where I'm aiming. Uh, green is about 30 yards, 40 yards forward. And I would say the bunker lip is a two foot uh, above my head. So it's an absolute uh, nightmare of a shot. Well, we got that out, but that'll only get about, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 yards out. Certainly won't be making the green, but uh, great, uh, the bunkers, as I say, what a hazard at, uh, at Ganton Golf Club. Okay, so we've seen uh, a few, they've certainly mentioned bunkers on the way around in Ganton, but also noticed there's quite a, uh, a few that have been uh, repaired and the reveted, reveted rather, uh, bunkers are being built up. I don't know whether repairs, renewals or what, but they look absolutely superb, like a piece of artwork and uh, a credit to the green staff. Can't wait to see these next summer when they're all in play. Right, wind's picking up, it's getting a little bit chilly. Certainly the coldest day of the year we've played so, uh, so far. Time for the uh, woolly hat to get on. Right, we're on the uh, 14th and it's only 278 yards. So. Uh, that all seems very much straightforward, but uh, I find it one of the most interesting holes here at Ganton because uh, it's a bit of an indicator. If you can just spin round, Joe, and take a look, it's, uh, it's a bit of an indicator what Ganton's all about to me. Uh, very, very tight fairways, lots of bunkers. We certainly featured them enough uh, so far and then a tight small green with plenty of undulations and plenty of pace. So when you get here, you certainly need to bring your A game off the tee, I would think at least, because uh, finding the short stuff is, uh, is no easy task and you certainly need to do that to be able to create a score around Ganton. Right, made our way to the 16th tee, uh, positively freezing by now. Um, 4 4 6 we've gone from the white plates uh, on this hole and uh, what I want to show you, we've mentioned the bunker word on I don't know how many times today so far on these video clips, but it seems unavoidable on every hole. And what you'll be able to see at this stage, if you just look at the brow and that rugged ridge, that is one of the biggest and widest fairway bunkers that you'll ever get to see. I'm not sure that I've seen uh, a bigger bunker on any golf course. So I'm going to tee off. First thing is obviously to, uh, forgetting the fact that the fairway is only about 50, 60 yards wide, the first thing to do is obviously try and get over that bunker and then we'll pick up a little bit of filming further down and we'll show you just how vast that bunker is and uh, how you want to avoid it basically because if you land anything in there it is that steep you won't be going far we got over the bunker it's a tad left it seems to be bouncing so it's okay let's go and have a look how big that bunker is a bit closer up Okay, so I'm stood on what is the 18th green at Ganton Golf Club. And I think we've just finished in time because for the last two holes, the rain has started to fall and with the drop in temperatures, it's getting a little bit nasty. But no excuses, we've got the thermals on, so we're happy to be out here and happy to be playing uh, a golf course of the quality of Ganton. Once again, check out the trousers and shoes. Not one drop of mud at all around this course. It was absolutely bone dry. Condition of the green, superb. I've mentioned the bunkers fairways bone dry it really is perfect conditions for winter golf now if you're considering playing um, location of ganton but 12 miles from the uh, east coast uh, scarborough uh, you're looking at 50 pound at the moment a uh, winter green fee in the midweek and 55 at weekends and there's a little bit of a special offer if you can get yourself a four ball together so i, I mean to my mind for that kind of money for this kind of quality that's a real good bargain get yourself over to the east coast and try some golf at Ganton. We're going to make our way into the uh, iconic clubhouse, get warm, get dry and get a nice hot drink I think.